what are a slew of things? What is a slew of things? Do you know what a slew means? Yeah. For those of you part pals that may not speak English fluently, I know there's some of you folks from different countries. Maybe you're looking at this wondering, what does a slew mean in English? A slew is a plethora. It is a lot more things. It's a lot more of something. Like, I have a slew of putters. I have a slew of putts that I made during a tournament. That's the best slew to have. How do you get a slew? More putts when you putt in disc golf. Slew, the mnemonic device. And if it's not, I'm going to have to re-record. A slew. S-L-E-W. It stands for something. We're talking about spin. Lift. And weight shift. Spin, lift, and weight shift. It rhymes, and it spells slew without an E. Bear with me. You might be saying to yourself, hey, what is this Jerry Garcia-looking guy going to tell me about putting? Let's say you're either new to putting, or maybe you get the yips. The yips is where maybe you're good at putting, maybe you always make putts, maybe you've got a new tip in putting, and you're like, hey, I am good at putting now. And then one day you're just sitting there, like right in front of the basket, and you're like, uh, uh, how does it go in? Uh. <laughs> And you're just frustrated, right? You can't make a five-foot putt. That's the yips. In baseball, in pitching, the yips is when you can't hit the strike zone. You have an ERA, an earned run average of 10 plus per game. Nobody wants that. Let's start with the first thing, the S. The S we just talked about in slew is spin. How do you generate spin in a putt? When you're throwing a backhand, you are spinning your disc with your arm. You're using your wrist to spin. So we're going to use our wrist you're using your wrist to spin your disc when you throw. This is going to be the Dr. Seuss of instructional videos. We'll go with this motion. Okay, now I hold my disc this way. And I'm going to do this when I throw. The reason why we spin a disc is the more it spins, the longer it stays in the air. So if your putts are coming up short, this is a way to use less power in the rest of your body and bring all that power into your wrist. Just doing it real simple. Just start really close. Always start really close when you're trying a new putting move, just to kind of get the feel out. And it always feels good inside when you hit the putt. Just that noise is very nice. Just practice your spin. You don't have to hit it every time. You just want to get spin. And our wrist is only going to go from this motion to this motion, not out here. You want to go from this motion to this motion. This is just giving you an example. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna throw it like this, okay. You're just going from this motion to this motion. You want your wrist to be straight when you release the disc. You don't want it to be over here. No, overthrow that way, because your target's gonna be right in front of you. So spin, spin generates. Notice I'm not using my arm. I'm using the spin to generate the power to go to the basket. So always use spin, always use spin. L is for lift. How do you get lift? If you watch some of my earlier putting videos, I talk about shaking hands. But when we do this motion, we want to shake somebody's hand. And when, also when you shake somebody's hand, you're not like, hi, how's it going? So when you shake somebody's hand, it's like this, right? Maybe if you're like, I'm fancy, take my hand. It's a little bit more like that. When we're spinning, we're already doing our wrist a favor for getting lift. Let me show you. The lift motion is shaking hands. So if I want to generate lift with my putter, I'm going to shake hands. I'm going to shake hands with the basket as if the basket was coming to greet me from far away. Come and shake hands. But maybe you want to be a little more fancy about it and do it like this, especially if your grip is a fan grip. The lift motion of shaking somebody's hand is actually the same motion you're going to want when you generate spin. A little side tip, a little sneaky tip. Because if you're going to shake somebody's hand, you take your hand out and say, what's up? So when you're spinning, you're going to take your hand out and you're going to move your wrist out so it's straight with your arm. So the shake hand motion, if you're going to take anything away, realize that lift and spin come with going to shake hands. So if you think about shaking hands, most of the time when you put, you're shaking hands with the basket. You're coming right up to the basket and looking it straight in the eye and shaking its hand and being a courteous adult. So be a courteous adult when you put. So let's do this. Let's spin and lift. Just doing it real close. Start real close. There I am, sitting back, spin and lift. I'm spinning and I'm shaking hands. Let me give you a second tip into lift, and generating proper lift. A lot of people who spin putt do like to 
get a bit of loft to their disc. Bear with. To be thorough. Fancy. Little tip about lift. Getting fancy with the handshake. I apologize for being a lefty. Actually, I don't apologize for being a lefty. I play one on TV. When I'm throwing my shot, pretend not, not only you're shaking your hand, but you're kind of being fancy. You want to kind of offer your hand. So someone could place their hand into your hand. So that's going to generate lift for you because you're going to kind of put your fingers up. So you're going to flare your fingers up to be fancy. While you're generating lift by shaking hands and you're generating spin by moving your wrist straight with your arm, fire your fingers. Get fancy with your handshake. Don't just come out with the handshake like this. Come out with the handshake like this. Be like, madame, madame. Fire your fingers like this. Fancy. So get a fancy handshake going on to generate lift. Now let's talk about weight shift. Spin, lift, weight, 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 shift. Spin, That could have been cooler. Could have been dumber. Could. Not could have been dumber. It's pretty dumb. Yeah. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, weight shift. Hey, it's time for weight shift. Spin, lift, weight shift. Did you do fancy things to your hair? Weight shift is something I went over in my instructional video. You might want to take a look at it. Grip block. <laughs> Sorry. We'll go over grip block in the next one. Anyway, bullets pass, him, pass my face. Okay. So weight shift is something that people forget a lot of the time. So if you're going to forget, you're going to get the yips. Don't forget slew. Hey, that's enough. Inside now. You're the problem. Now you're the problem in the world. Gandhi's talking about. Be the problem. That's not my problem. Or something. Whatever he said. Kids, I know. It's funny. Now you know to spin and to shake hands. You just... It makes putting so much easier when you're just doing the spin and the lift. What about weight shift? Has nothing to do with our hands. So you're just going to rock back and forth. As a matter of fact, this reminds me of Dustin Hoffman and Rain Man. I'm very sorry about that. That man right there is my brother. And if he doesn't get to watch people's yeah. corn in about 30 seconds, he's going to throw a fit right here in your porch. Well, he's like tripping out. He's having anxiety. And he actually does this like tripped out, like shake back and forth. Watch Rain Man. Tom Cruise. People got Oscars. I'm old. Shut up, Jerry Garcia guy. Weight shift is where you're going to take your back leg for your righties. It's your left leg. And you're going to shift your weight from your back leg. Almost sit sit your butt on your back leg, putting my toe straight at the pole of the basket. So I'm going to shift that weight from back to front. While I'm doing my spin and lift motion, I'm going to do this back to front. So I got like all my weight, like I'm sitting back here. Most of my weight is sitting back here. I could, I could read a newspaper. I could, I could watch an episode of Judge Judy. The weight shift goes from the back leg to the front. So as I take my motion, I'm doing this for you, righties. Do you for the, doing this for you 99 percenters. Lean back, forward. For me, I lean back a whole bunch. I feel so much better being lefty. And I shoot my shot. You actually do it backwards. You weight shift, you lift, and you spin. So it's kind of like WLS. And that don't spell shit. 80%, most of your weight, just sit back. Like your right leg's a chair. Or your back leg is a chair. And then you're going to move that weight to the front and bend your knee. So line your back leg up wherever you feel comfortable. I feel like I'm really aligned with my target. When I'm sitting back and I'm pointing out, and then spin, see, spin, lift, and then that weight shift. <laughs> it's like shaking, shake and bake, shake and bake. And you may ask yourself, does this even work? Does it even work? Well, check this out. Montage. Do you want to see me putt? Do, we, do you want to see me putt? Do you want to see me putt? Do you want to see me putt? Hey, boo! Do you want to see me putt? Yeah! <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, since you all want to see me putt, let's do it. Take a step back. Shot. 
Once you're comfortable with it, take a step back. If you miss, stay there. I was just doing that, for example. Fancy. Let's get fancy. <laughs> 